Austrian government's reform of the Prohibition Act, originally meant to ban the return of Nazism, is now being used to criminalize, and criminalize criticism of Israel as hate speech. Earlier this year, Rahma Austria, a humanitarian aid organization supporting Palestinians, found that 700 of its donors were unlawfully visited by police in early morning hours and accused of financing terrorism. This highlights the state's Islamophobic intimidation practices and criminalization of the Palestinians' right to humanitarian support. I stood in utter disbelief as the OSCE session on human rights and fundamental freedoms opened with the endorsement of a historically flawed narrative of the Palestinian struggle against occupation and colonization. This blatant misrepresentation not only distorts the truth, it also dehumanizes the Palestinian people. It was a clear example of anti-Palestinian racism and Islamophobia. The Western world stands complicit in enabling the genocidal actions of the Zionist state. Austria and Germany, with their racist historical legacy should bear a profound responsibility to stand against such atrocities. Austria has harshly suppressed pro-Palestinian expressions of solidarity, banning 13 demonstrations just one month of the genocide. This Monday, another protest was banned by the Austrian police. Chanting, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, has resulted in numerous arrests alone echoing Germany's repression of the pro-Palestinian solidarity movement and its ban on Samidun, the Austrian government seeks to ban Dar al Janoub, a Palestine solidarity organization. Institutions that supposedly protect the public are now being weaponized to advance Israel's genocidal and racist agenda. We therefore demand for the OSCE to call for an immediate halt to the genocide and colonization of Palestine and the recognition of the Palestinians' legitimate right to resist occupation. Thank you.